At the end of the last tutorial, we had just put in each of the different div sections. So we had top left, uh, top main, bottom left, and bottom main. And uh, as you can see, that's not exactly what we wanted. All of those different div sections have kind of sidled in beside one another. So we have to try and control that slightly. Um, and the best way to do this is to adjust the margins uh, at the edges of these different div sections. Let's take it to a diagram and show you what happened. So when I was talking about uh, setting the different properties of each of these different div sections, one of the most important properties that we set was we set the float property. We set the float property to left. And when I said that we set this float property to left, I drew the analogy of a pond full of water. And these are different types of floating blocks on top of that pond. And they all want to float up to the top left. And so therefore, if there's enough space on the top line, then all of those different div sections, they will keep on flowing into that space until that space is completely full. And then whatever is left over will go on to the next line. And that's exactly what's happening here. I can see the top left div section that has floated in. It takes a certain amount of space. Top main floats in right beside that. It goes in exactly beside that and uh, takes over that definite line right beside that uh, top left div. And then there's enough space to the right of top main for this bottom left div section to actually move in there because bottom left is actually quite a narrow type of div section as well. At that stage, there's no other space at the right of bottom left for the bottom main div section to actually flow in beside it. So it has to go on to the next line. So what we want to do now to force the bottom left div section onto the next line as well is we want to adjust the margin properties of each of these different div sections so that effectively they all get pushed a little bit to the right. And that will push bottom left a little bit to the right. And eventually if I keep on pushing the top left and top main margins and we keep on pushing them over, what effectively will happen is we have this diagram here. So we insert these margins as a property on the CSS style sheet. We insert possibly kind of margin right or a combination of margin right and margin left. And they act as little buffers and they make sure that whatever is in the case of margin right, that whatever is to the right of top left, for instance, will be pushed over by a certain margin. And the margin is as we decide. So let's go and see how we can apply these different margins in Dreamweaver. I'm going to change into my Dreamweaver application. And at the moment, this is my split view. I'm just going to quickly just go into the design view so I can get a good overall feel of what's happening uh, across the width of the wrapper div. And I'm going to start adjusting the margin rights on each one of these different div sections. So I'm going to click here on this div section. This is top left. I'm going to find that rule over in the CSS styles panel. So top left, and I'm going to edit that rule. I'm going to find the box category in the CSS rule definition. And I'm going to go to margins. Now, in margins and padding, you see this checkbox right up the top that says same for all, and both of those are checked on. What I can do is I can check that off because I want to be very specific and have uh, individual margins for each of the top, right, bottom, or left. So in the diagram, we adjusted the right margin first of all, so that's what I'm going to do here as well. And although I could be very specific with this and kind of do it out with a kind of a, a a ruler and adjust, for instance, my wrapper is 900 pixels wide and each of my different div sections is a certain kind of width as well. Um, I can be very specific about what margins I put in here, but I'm just going to do trial and error. Uh, for instance, the right margin on this top left div section, I'm just going to start off by putting in 40 pixels, which is quite narrow. And let me apply that and let's see what happens in the design view in behind. So I can see a margin popping in there already. And straight away I can see that that is enough. Enough of a margin that pushed the top main section over. And at the right of the top main section, that 
uh, bottom left section was actually hadn't enough room to stay on that top line and it got pushed down below so effectively it's done the job that I wanted to do already but I'm still going to keep on going and adjust all the margins uh, around each of the different div sections to try and getting looking exactly like uh, what I have in my mock-up. So for the moment I'm going to leave that margin on top left just there at 40 pixels. Click OK. Uh, I may go back and edit that later on but I'm going to select the next div section over which is top main and I'm going to find that rule that controls that div section in my CSS styles panel and I'm going to edit that rule. Same type of thing here, I'm going to find the box category and I'm going to put in the right margin as being 40. Click OK. I can see that margin pop in here as well. So this is a handy kind of feature in Dreamweaver anytime that I put in margins around different div sections. If I click on this div section here I can see the margin to the right of it in this kind of shaded area. So I've got a 40 pixel right margin on the top left. I've got a 40 pixel right margin on the top main. I'm going to continue on and do it for each of the other div sections as well. So I'm going to go into bottom left and edit that. Go into the box category and put in a margin at the right of 40 pixels. Click OK there that margin goes in. Notice how it's perfectly aligned now with the thing at the top because the top left and the bottom left div sections they're both identical in width so if I put an identical margin width to the right of each of them then obviously the uh, top main and the bottom main are going to line up identically as well. Last div section I'm going to click on this bottom main and I'm going to find that rule in the CSS styles panel and I'll edit it and I'll go into the box section and put in 40 pixels and click OK and now that margin is in there as well. Now other types of things that I can do here is I need to probably start adjusting the left margin and also the top margins on some of these different div sections as well because I want a little bit of space between for instance the top main and the bottom main div section but I also want some space in here between uh, this these top two div sections and the navigation bar above it so I'll do that in the next tutorial